Hi guys, welcome to this new video. Today I would like to give you a tour of my balcony garden at the end of March. And you know, that's funny because I actually recorded uh, my container garden tour like three or four days ago. And in that video, I said, you know, we had a really cold winter and a really cold beginning of spring and nothing is blooming. My garden has never been this empty at the end of March. Uh, so I recorded that tour, I obviously didn't post it yet. Um, and today I go out on my balcony and I look at all of this and I'm like, dang. I have to record another balcony tour because everything is blooming now. Like three, four days have passed and everything is blooming all of a sudden. All of my tulips are blooming, some first daffodils, muscaris, uh, forget-me-nots and all. So I figured, well, I'm gonna record a new balcony tour because I really have to show you all of this. So let's go, let me show you how the things are looking at the end of March. Okay, so why don't we start with the back corner here, because this area has changed since my last tour. We installed this new privacy screen that I absolutely love. It provides such a lovely backdrop to my plants. And I know that at the moment it kind of all blends in because the privacy screen has a very similar color to those terracotta pots. Uh, but as you can see, the plants are starting to wake up from their winter dormancy. They are starting to put on some growth. So once this corner fills out with plants, we won't even see all of those containers because uh, plants usually, you know, they produce so much foliage that you can barely see any pots at all. Um, so from the left, we have Sp Podophyllum spotidoti, then Aturium niponicum pictum, beautiful silver fern, uh, Hellebore that is just da now done blooming, Ornamental Grass Carex Evergold, Branera Macrophylla Variegata, uh, Hakanocloa in the right corner and then two hostas that are waking up. And then obviously my gorgeous Japanese maple Orange Dream that has this lovely chartreuse green color in the spring and then it transforms more into green in summer and bright orange in the fall. This little grouping on the floor here consists of some evergreen plants. There is also one container with spring bulbs and my new hydrangea. And then obviously Clematis Montana Maylene that is starting to produce some first flower buds. So in about a month, we will have a really lovely flower show. And if you look into my railing pots, there are finally things happening in those railing pots. My forget-me-nots uh, that I grew from seeds are starting to bloom. It is the first time I grew pink forget-me-nots from seeds and I just can't get over how cute they are. So on this side we have a grouping of perennial plants. There are two uh, containers with bulbs up front, but they are not blooming yet. Uh, but then we have some hookura, ornamental grass, hellebore, another hookura, and hydrangea macrophylla that's starting to leaf out. And then obviously Japanese maple, acer, orange, no, acer garnet, sorry, the other one is called orange dream, this one is garnet, beautiful red foliage. And then on this side we have my bulb lasagna. I think I was able to show you in my previous tour the first layer of my bulb lasagna. Uh, which was crocus Jeanne d'Arc, beautiful, large, white crocus. And they are now done blooming. And we have the second layer, which is Tulip Infinity. Such a beautiful tulip. Starts off as a creamy white and then ages to this uh, kind of pinkish color. Uh, there was also a third layer of irises, Iris Pink Panther. But so far, no blooms, which is really strange because usually irises are one of the first bulbs to bloom. And for whatever reason, none of my irises is blooming yet. So I'm not sure what's up with them. This is the first time this, ha this has happened to me. Um, but yeah, hope, I hope that they will bloom at some point. As I said, this spring has been a little bit strange. And uh, as you can see, I have tulips blooming before my daffodils and stuff like that. So um, I'm hoping they will still bloom at some point. All right, so let's move forward. On the table, you will be able to see my lovely composition that is now a little bit, uh, well, it doesn't look as lovely as it used to. Let me show you um, a little clip of how it looked at its prime. And in this little composition, I planted uh, Crocus Jeanne d'Arc, um, just like in my Bal lasagna, and then a mix of colorful irises. And here again, the irises are not blooming. So not sure what's up with all of those iris bulbs this year. And as we move to this side of the balcony, you will see a little grouping of plants over here with some couple of uh, containers with bulbs, um, a new climber that's not looking like much yet, uh, Passiflora aapopea. But I'm very much looking forward to this year's blooms. Really curious to see how it does in my balcony. And then we have my bench with Clematis jackmanii that's looking absolutely wild. I need to... Uh, I mean, I already bought a trellis for it, um, an arch, actually. Uh, so I'm just waiting for it to be delivered because this plant grows so fast, uh, it outgrew its current 
uh, little plant support already. And on the bench here, I placed some of those smaller pots. Uh, if any of you remember, uh, in the fall I posted a video uh, where I spoke about seven small but very frost hardy bulbs. Uh, that would be great options for those of you who live in colder climates or those of you who have very small balconies or, or only window sills to work with. So all of these smaller bulbs are starting to bloom. Um, well, except for one that didn't sprout yet, but I think that's a late bloomer. So we have tete a tete. Uh, daffodils, we have Pushkinia, we have Muscari latifolium, and then another Muscari with double blooms, uh, a couple of irises, uh, no blooms yet, and then uh, small crocuses, and here I think we have Chinodoxa that is just now starting to sprout. Okay, and here at the other side of the bench we have all of these galvanized buckets. I absolutely love galvanized buckets and I love planting bulbs in them. I think that looks really cute and really rustic. So we have tulip infinity in here and in here that are just now starting to bloom. First couple of blooms from tulip Miss Elegance. Uh, then here we have tul um, daffodil talia and here tulip healthcare. So not much to show you here yet, but as you can see, those first tulips are starting to bloom. So I think in a week from now, this whole display should uh, be full of beautiful spring flowers. And a couple of things that I want to show you on the other side here. We have another tulip blooming. This one is called tulip uh, spring green. So beautiful. A little update on my ranunculus. They are growing healthy. Then we have sedum palmarii that's in bloom. I really love this sedum. Such a simple little plant but brings so much joy. Look at her. All covered in yellow flowers. Doesn't it look so pretty? And as every year, I'm also growing my favorite pansies, Rococo Mix. I grew them from seeds and I plant them in these railing pots every year. But this year, um, they are not growing the best. Uh, we had a really cold and wet winter and a lot of them just rotted. Uh, but I'm happy that I planted some forget-me-nots as well. So even though I don't have a lot of pansies left in these containers, I have plenty of forget-me-nots. And as you could see, some of them are starting to bloom already. And just a couple of things here. I added some storage boxes recently that I'm really happy with. Um, then on both sides here we have blueberry bushes and look at this. They are covered with blueberries. This is gonna be so awesome this year. This is for the first time that they produce so much because they are still very young. They are two or three years old. So it is just now that they are really starting to, to produce. I have two blueberries. This one is called Pink Lemonade, I think, and this one is called Brigitta Blue. Uh, it also has some berries, a little bit less than the other one, but still um, some. Here we have Hydrangea Serrata, Blueberry Cheesecake, and look at this, it already produces flower buds. This is crazy. It's a bit too early. I'm afraid that if we have some cold snap, the buds will get damaged, but I will keep an eye on this. And behind Ivy, Goldheart, growing healthy and slowly slowly covering this privacy screen and just one quick look at my new rose it's starting to produce healthy foliage so i'm really curious to see how that goes this rose can tolerate a bit more shade but um, i'm pushing it to the limits because i only have four hours of sunlight on my balcony so we will see how she does all right, you guys, so this is how the balcony looks at the end of March this year. And I am so happy to see all of those flowers bloom finally. It's been a long time coming. Honestly, all of these plants are one month on late. If you watch my previous tours from 2023, 2022, and I think even in 2021 I posted a tour, you will see that my garden in March was full of color. Everything was blooming. Tulips, daffodils, muscaris, all, 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 of, all of those flowers were in bloom. This year, it's only this week that they really started to produce some flower buds and some of those flowers are starting to bloom. So it's one month later than usual, but spring has finally arrived. I'm super happy and obviously will give you some updates in my future videos. So thank you so much for joining me for today's tour. Thanks for watching and we'll see each other in the next video.